Welcome comrades. Today we're going to be celebrating the 10th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 4. Holy crap. Joined with Eric. How's it going everybody? And we're just going to be here to celebrate, like I said, 10 years of Grand Theft Auto 4. And we're just going to basically go over our memories and our nostalgic memories of the game. And just pretty much talk about our favorite parts of the game and how it stands up to shit nowadays. So... Yeah, this isn't going to be exactly like a straight game review or walkthrough or anything like that. It's just looking back on a good classic game and honestly can't really believe that it's already been 10 years since I know. it came out. <laughs> like for, you know, guys yeah. our age, it's like, this is this is the kind of shit that makes us feel old right here. I don't know. I guess exactly. I can speak for myself, but yeah. I know I'm not old yet, but it's just like... <laughs> Ten years is kind of a long time, and it's just like, I remember playing this video game like it was yesterday. Exactly. So yeah, that's all this video is going to be, us just talking, talking the stuff about the game. And, and sh showing a deep appreciation for the game yeah. overall in general. Yeah, I guess with, without further ado, this is Yellow Buckets celebrating Grand Theft Auto 4's 10 year anniversary. Alright, so I guess we could just briefly explain the game uh, before we get into talking about it for people who aren't as familiar you know, with the game as us. Exactly. Or to the franchise in general. Obviously, right. it's a third-person shooter. Right, action-adventure like sandbox. Yeah, uh, really cinematic. Home, essentially. Right. Beginning. Uh, GTA 4 takes place in um, Liberty City, which is... Fictional yeah, New York. Rockstar's fictional universe. Um... Yeah, Nico Bellic, who is uh, an immigrant. They don't really, they don't specifically mention what country, country he's from, but it's some Eastern, Eastern like, European, like yeah. Soviet bloc, like country. And he's definitely and, uh, ex military or yeah. special forces, police or something. Yeah, you learn throughout the game. He's somebody. into some. He's into some. <laughs> he's into some deep stuff, military exactly. speaking. And uh, it's the it's the story. Pretty much, the game is about the American dream. And Nico coming yeah. to America to meet his cousin Roman, who already is established. Yeah, in established in, yeah, in America. <laughs> Liberty City's got the big titties and the mansions, and uh, yeah, supposedly and the fancy taxi car. Yeah, <laughs> the fancy taxi. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, yeah, so it's it, it's you know it's pretty much about the American dream, exactly. and uh, in, in a certain from starting at the bottom and. Getting to the tippy top, and I mean, where else better to try to do it than the Big Apple? Right, and, and it's, yeah. that's great, dude. I love the, uh, the, you know, just the depiction of New York in this game, I guess, in Liberty City. Uh, it, it's great. And yeah, it, it, definitely. It sets the mood, for sure. I mean, I've only been there twice in my life, and both times, I will admit, it was kind of gray and depressing. Just like the colors of the game. Grand Theft Auto 4 kind of has the... Uh, Kind of a weird gray, grayed over texture to it. If you kind of look yeah. at the game, it's I don't know if it's it may it's scale. It might have been our TVs back in the day. Exactly. Don't yeah, notice dude. it as bad. It's not as bad nowadays. Definitely not playing it on the Xbox um, One. Yeah. Just because it's backwards compatible. But like, remember on the 360, yeah. on that old fucking tube TV with fucking RCA cables. Like, yeah, it wasn't the best, but you could play. It. Exactly. We. <laughs> I, I gotta remember we were playing when Grand Theft Auto came out. I guess we didn't even mention Grand Theft Auto was released April 29th, I believe, of 2008. And, you know, we're celebrating this game in the end of April when this game, when this, ideally when this video comes out, it'll be the 10th anniversary. It'll be the, you know, the date of that somewhere. But, times. we were playing, we were playing on tube TVs through the, the classic RCA hookup, and I'm just thinking like, like, wow. And any clips that you see, you know, I'm going to be throwing clips around and whatnot. Uh, throughout this video, those are all recorded through the backwards compatible on Xbox One, um, Xbox One version, or you know what I'm trying to say, the Xbox, yeah, exactly. the Xbox Whatever. 360 version, it's the Xbox 360 version, but it's played through an Xbox One. 
Christopher Walken. One of the main focuses of this whole game the improvements was the overall physics and the graphics, obviously. Cause oh, I mean, yeah. Coming from San Andreas, where everything was still polygons and just basic shapes and colors. and I mean, obviously, it was way more colors at the time. Right, we're stepping into the HD but it was universe with this the game. actual, like, fully rendered out bodies and you know what I'm saying? Right. Like ragdoll physics and game game buzzwords and developer exactly. lingo and, and stuff. Fucking actual sunsets that look real and <laughs> no, but yeah, know, cinematics. Yeah, yeah. It the really... whole cinematic camera was actually more cinematic, you know. Yeah, and I, I really that's one of the my favorite parts. Obviously, you know, we've played a lot of Grand Theft Auto together. Oh, yeah. and you know that I love I love mashing that cinematic oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. camera because you're a pro at it. I I fuck <laughs> up every time. I'm not even gonna lie. The Grand Theft Auto. This motherfucker will drive like four it's... minutes straight, <laughs> just like fucking over the bridge and just like all around him and shit. It's just like, dude, I love that. It's like a movie because in four <laughs> they added the button where you could just if you hold the B button. It'll just automatically do it. You don't have to cycle through the camera angles, and I love that. But like it was just, it was a great way to look at the game because it just it fits the overall direction that Grand Theft Auto, it just in general, is always is always heading towards the more cinematic, more immersive, like just exactly. It's feel almost and tone, like, you know. I hate to say it, but it's like almost kind of like soap opera, like. Just like no. drama, like exactly like Some in of your face, be, real. Dude. It is. You know what I'm saying? Not like <laughs> it's so over dramatic, like a soap opera where you know everything is gonna happen. But it just has those moments and like just cliffhangers and like you know stuff happens. But you're gonna have to play the game yourself to figure all that happen. stuff out. But but yeah, the uh, the physics, man, it's crazy. I really love the whole the rage engine or yeah the rage engine and the euphoria engine and all the things they all the things they brought together to make grand theft auto 4 happen oh, yeah. the rag dolls and like when like when you're Just the uh, whole environment of the world like obviously the ai is way better so there's more cars on the street and people driving on it. yeah people get into car accidents on their own you can just walk down the street and see two people start fighting and you know <laughs> it just like up the immersion level so much more because it was i mean that stuff happened in grand theft auto san andreas like every once in a while but it was just like so much more real in this one because of the overall graphics honestly too as well yeah it brought it up a notch like you it, know. there's just moments in this game like it's, especially once you unlock the full map and you can go like you can go into the heart of heart of the city and you can see the some like when you're up on the skyscrapers or you're just taking a helicopter tour or whatever and you can see the buildings and just it's taking so it all in it's the like, skylines dude that like just the right times of dusk or dawn it's beautiful. You can get you some can good just, shots yeah. in that game, and it's really crazy just when you just think of it from that perspective, looking at it. It's it's really crazy, but but for me, I, like I said, the ragdoll physics is what what brings it in. Mainly the, like the the uh, the involuntary ejection, like oh, when you're yeah, driving dude, that's and you're one just of the like best, dude. crash into something and just shoot just through that windshield, and grab a comet and just, just don't let go of the gas. Just go down one of the straight strips and just <laughs> wham right in the back of a taxi, and you just get sent flying over like three cars in front of you. Exactly, dude. All that kind of stuff and, and crazy shit can happen. Like especially that I had so much fun recording clips. Just oh yeah, in preparation just like, for this. At one point, I hit that playing jump. Playing the game, like not playing the story or anything, just playing the game. It's yeah, just like playing the game, full. going in and just making making stuff happen, just manipulating exactly. things. And like I, I, I wanted to get a clip of that of of the ejection and that one spot where there's like that open little like the open little like courtyard thing under underneath like the, the statue pavilion thing, and you can kind of hit the jump off the street. Oh, oh, there's yeah. like the, there's like the oh, pegs, yeah. and like oh, people yeah, the are always point. standing in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah the, the fucking dude, just, I, I, just I slammed into yeah. that, and like I got ejected, and like I think like I hit some other chick okay. too, and like I'm pretty sure that's a stun jump, actually, isn't it? I don't, I don't even know. know. It might be. It might be. Maybe not. But uh, at any way, rate, it's always a jump you can hit. At any rate, I smoked some really? chick in the process of doing it, and she was crip like, hanging. She was just like folded over, like. And I, and I think it's like hashtag like yoga yoga with Nico. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just yeah. folded, and it, it was funny as hell. So you know, there's stuff like that, and even 
little things like that don't even really come into play much, like being able to pick up a brick and throw it. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude, you can throw a brick through a car window just for the fuck of it. Watch the car alarm go off. Yeah, a cop might get called or something and come drive around the block. You know, like if you just run across the street and just wait, like a cop, a cop car could just roll up. Right. And, like, come up to the car that you just broke. Like it's crazy. Just like little things like that, or like just getting in fist fights with people and like. Just the commentary back and forth, how you could kind of just interact with people more, you know? Yeah, it's the way that you could, like, a coffee cup was always another good one you could throw in, you know? Just say fuck you to somebody and throw a coffee cup in their face. Fuck your mom. Exactly. You know? like, or if they had one in their hand, you could knock it out of their hand. Things like that, like... Some of the stuff the civilians would even say at you, even when you're just driving down yeah. the street, like the one guy that yells cheesy vaginas. Cheesy vaginas, that's cheesy the one. Vaginas. Yeah, dude, I thought it was something about fucking pussy. I told you. <laughs> they yell something at you. Oh, we knew it was something about pussy. Exactly. And I mean, dude, I never laughed. One of the times I laughed the hardest in my life was the first time I walked into the burger shop and the big, fat black guy fucking said, yeah. Welcome to Burger Shop, motherfucker. Oh, man. That is hilarious, dude. It is one of the things that just... I just I love about this game. that moment. I'm sorry. No, oh, yeah. I should have said the black guy. I should have said the guy. The guy. I guess you can't really talk about the physics without mentioning the swing set, dude. Oh, yeah. That's that classic. Like, that's going to go down in glitch history. Like, it's... Yes. I one agree. of the famous things that they even figured out and they loved it so much they didn't even patch it like you know yeah if you go to a certain area in the game uh it's on the first island and it's like a it's two swing sets in a little park and they just they're just glitchy by nature any movement or like movement by them or like interaction with them cause them to just like yeah. cause them to like like where they're glitch around. around yeah exactly it's like their hitbox is like not Finite, so like it like moves. Bad human hitbox happen, runs into it, so like, <laughs> and then it's like trying to fight you. So then it just fucks with the yeah. physics of the game and just it pretty much launches. You. Yeah, it breaks the game and launches shit. Like I, <laughs> I went, I, uh, I tested it so with so many things throughout the years. We've done it like hundreds of times. You know, we've oh, done it with like buses, with like cars. cars. I did it with motorcycles. Uh, well, no, uh, yeah, motorcycles, like sports cars. Like, it it just that. reacts yeah. to different things. Exactly. If the car's heavier or not. Like an SUV won't fly as far, but it'll flip kind of more. Yeah. Like, and actually, the bus. Car. Speaking. Yeah, I never bus, got a bus back there. I got a bus. I, never got a bus back. I finally got a bus there, and I actually managed to crash the game. Like I got, I got a bus to the swing set, and it wouldn't react. Like, and it just, like, That's well, the swing stack insane. was just going eight yeah, shit, but it wouldn't launch me or anything. And then out of nowhere, just, it's just too much. The game just, like, froze. Like, you can still hear ambient background noises of, like, cars and vehicles, but not, nah, like, yeah. the game just, just couldn't handle it. It just didn't know what to do. And that's the first time I've ever crashed that game with that glitch. Like, I figured it kind of, you know, exactly. messes you with know, the game a little bit, but it, it never, do something. it never it's broke the game for us. Yeah. No, no. I mean, it just always killed you. Like, I mean, yeah. the worst thing that ever happened from that. Oh, it blew up your car. And it does <laughs> kill you. The physics were really awesome. Just, like, the personal, obviously, is what we're talking about mostly. But yeah. the other thing they really amped up was the car physics. Like, dude, it's well, it's competitive to, like, Forza and, like, you know, fucking whatever the shit comes out, on the fucking comes out on the PS4. Gran you know what I'm saying? Gran Turismo. Yeah, whatever the fuck that shit is. But, like, at the time... It was just as high quality of driving as those games that came out. Yeah, you know? it, th and it offered so much more than just a racing game. You know, Grand Theft Auto always had racing aspect to it. Exactly, there's always yeah. a side thing you could do, and it's, it's still there in this game. You know, get some cool cars and upgrade them. You know, mm -hmm. that was a whole provocative thing of it. You know, obviously, and you know, obviously in this game it was as well too, because there were so many more high end cars being in a big city. You know, exactly. I mean, one of the main richer part of towns. Yeah, and one of the main things I remember from like getting the game informer like in like two thousand seven, like the year before this game came out, like just you know going ape shit. One of the things that stood out in the article is how 
like bullet holes would stay in cars like infinitely till the car was destroyed or you like yeah, get away from it. Exactly. Just like, like minor things like that. Bullet Back holes in the day, and, and bullet holes and were like like a timed thing. Like if you yeah. shot a wall, the bullet hole didn't stay there forever. It was only timed for like thirty or fifteen seconds. Yeah, or to like another like, bullet hole like Exactly. Yeah, you had like only whatever. like a limit of like twenty bullet holes that would fill <laughs> in at a time. And yeah. Like so that was cool. And I, I mean I guess you can't mention the the car physics without Mentioning the drunk driving. Like, oh, yeah. Like that, that was, was a big fucking thing at the time, too. I mean, obviously, we do not promote any drinking and driving. We are totally against that shit. It is against the law. It's stupid. People die. Do not drink and drive. Take the bus. Ask fucking a friend to drive you home. Ask to sleep on the fucking couch. Talk to you what you gotta do. But... I completely agree with you, Eric. With that in mind, we're going to discuss the drunk driving in this game. Um, there is an option to go to the bar. You know, like, Grand Theft Auto always had many games of where you could go do certain things, like play sports or, you know... Darts, like darts. billiards. Yeah, exactly. They had a bowling in GTA 4, which was really cool. Yeah, another mini game that <clears throat> worked fairly well. I yeah. mean, honestly, it's I honestly it, enjoy a it. game in a game is never a bad thing, you know, especially if it works. Exactly. You know? So it's like, you know, you don't have to do it, but it's just something you can do, you know? And obviously building reputation with your follower, or not your follower, your fucking friends. friends. Yeah. Get your respect up and like, yeah, you know, like crap. There's meaning to do it, but, but it's not necessary to the overall game. With that in mind, you can get fucking blitzed and drive in completely blur vision and run people down and run away from the police. Exactly. And it's fun. You cannot, you do not have control at all. <laughs> you push one button, it does a complete opposite thing. That's the scheme. Yeah. That's the control scheme for when you're drunk. And you, it's great. It, it's pretty much designed to make you die. To make you not want to drink and drive to show you that if you do, you die. And... Am I right in saying, wasn't there like a whole campaign kind of against Grand Theft Auto yes. 4? Just like every Grand Theft Auto, there's, there's some always a lawsuit. Yep. And of course, Mothers Against Red, Red had a big problem with a video game allowing drunk driving. Obviously. So, obviously things happened in court, this and that, and... I don't even really remember really, what happened. Exactly. But. They probably settled on some stupid <laughs> shit, but it's still in the game. Yeah, right it's now. still in the game, so they lost. So they, they lost. lost obviously. <laughs> they lost no, no matter what. It's, what it's like it's, it doesn't make you drink in the game, so it's like you know, it's a free choice kind of thing. And, yeah. You know, it's a free intellectual property, just like anything else, a movie, whatever. You know, TV shows, radio. It just happens. Comic books. Everything you own. <laughs> it's owned by somebody else. Uh, I guess speaking of trippy shit regarding news and controversies and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess it's not too controversial, but with the tenth anniversary of Grand Theft Auto Four, they're they released news about like a week or so ago that they're going to be swapping out certain music in the game due to the license expiring. They had a ten year license on certain music in the game. They're gonna be swapping yeah, it out. Ten years old makes sense. Yeah, they haven't said what music is gonna be replaced. You know, if it's gonna be just a song or two, or if it's gonna be like whole radio stations or not. You know, which I kind of hope they don't change too much because to me, exactly, that's Grand one of the most memorable things about yes, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Most of all Grand Theft Auto games are always remembered for their music. That's one of the main things that people that's usually remember. More than two thirds of the game. You're playing, you're driving in a car, and that's what you're listening right. to, you know? Like, and I get it, and exactly. I love it, and I it's, love how people are, like, inspired by the soundtracks of these games, and, like, Vice City, San Andreas, like, fucking, they all just, they all had great, they, every one of them has exactly. great soundtracks to it, and I just hope they don't For get rid every of, person uh, in every style of music you like. You know? Right, and, and I guess... just cater to one. In, in Grand Theft Auto 4 specifically, they... The, sound, the the radio stations it are was really good. real. It was the most real, especially at the time. Like, yeah. For a video game radio station, that was it was like listening to fucking uh, the fucking dog. Oh, um, serious fucking Siri, dog. Yeah. Shit. Like, <laughs> the <know>? dog. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to know that? <laughs> the dog. 
But yeah, it's it's really cool. And I remember the talk radio they had uh, Jason Sudeikis from SNL. We were really into SNL yeah. at the same time we were playing this game, exactly. so it was really cool to hear his voice on that just radio like, station. Yeah. Just the immersion level was so just real at the time. It was, there was great. No, there was nothing really like it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. there was other games at the time that had better graphics or whatever you want to say, but it was just the overall just gameplay of it. You know, it was great. I, I going back and playing and recording stuff for this, you know, for this video and just in general, getting you know back into playing Grand Theft Auto Four. It's it really it is my favorite Grand Theft Auto game, and I think it will forever be my favorite. Um, it's great. Just in many, I can't. That's like that's the best thing I can just say right now is that it's great because I could just go on and on about this, that, and bouncing back and forth and this and that. But it, it is such a great game, and the music mainly is what exemplifies it. Because I'm a musician by nature. I love you know playing my guitar and you know drum and all that stuff. And the music is always something to look forward to in the Grand Theft Auto games. So, but then, you know all that stuff being said, I'm gonna be really curious to see what they do with that license change you know with the exactly what they're going to take out because they're going to replace it with music exactly so i mean they got to do something about it you know they might have and and what does this really maybe a couple do with anything gta 5 that they might still have a license for yeah maybe what i was kind of thinking just to save the money well you know if if at any rate we'll always have we'll always have our cameo appearance in in Burrow Banton's Battered and Dumb music video, which was featured on Massive B's uh, oh, yeah. that was radio station, Grand Theft Auto 4. Never forget it. Man, all right, let's just share some clips with them. Check out Battered and Dumb, Eric and I were cameo in that. Oh, yeah. Now this is the original Burrow Banton. Battered and Dumb, 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 that was a trip. Always remember that. He was a good guy, though. Good guy. Really homely. Jamaica. Take a trip there if you can. So, yeah, I guess really other than that, uh, it's really, there is some really kind of trippy shit that happens in that game, too, really, if you think about it. If you go to Statue of Happiness, oh, yeah. which we didn't even really mention that. There, you know, it's New York. takes place in Liberty City. In all the games sorts of universe. monuments and other things to mimic the city. Of course. So, obviously, that means that the Statue of Liberty has to be there, which in GTA's universe is Statue of Happiness. And if you happen to <laughs> go there, you'll see it's it's a really great recreation of um, Liberty Island. Oh, yeah. Great, great <clears throat> recreation. But if you check out the details on the statue itself, it's really funny. She's holding a coffee cup. Um... If the tablet says something on it, I think, but it's really funny because the face itself is like it's like a middle-aged lady, but it really looks like Hillary Clinton, yeah. and people I swear that, that it's yeah. Hillary Clinton. I it, dude. And like, it's gotta it's be Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Clinton. That's fucking Hillary. Dude. It's Hill Dog. <laughs> what? But the craziest part, though, is actually going inside of the statue which if you can <laughs> successfully land it's it's hard because it's like the top level it's not accessible oh, yeah. by foot it's only accessible yeah, by could, helicopter yeah the easiest is just to get a buzzard and get up there yeah and you oh, bail up a little you bail out and you go into a certain door it says like hidden yeah. things behind this door no, or whatever says, no, do not enter oh yeah it's there's no, totally not hidden stuff it says something trippy i or swear like, it just like is a door and it has like a wooden sign that says do not enter but it's, you just walk through it like it doesn't even open. Yeah, you just like walk through yeah. it. You do. You just walk it's through like, it. like not even like a real door. Yeah. So you walk through this door. Door. Because I guess doors aren't even doors anymore. But anyways, you go up this ladder and there's a heart. There's a full-fledged like beating heart on like chains like inside of the statue. And it was always really nice. creepy. But yeah, it's just trippy, you know, because the heart of the city. It was. I guess if you think of the, think of it that way, it's really symbolic. It's just exactly. like the heart of the Statue of Happiness is the heart of the city, which is just the heart of hearts, man. The heart of the people. The community. Just do it! The worst thing I ever see is Americans fighting Americans. 
1941. <laughs> What's his name? The guy from Ghostbusters. Dan Aykroyd. Yep. So, it's been like, it's been 10 years, dude. And really, it's crazy to think that since that day in 8th grade that I was just sitting there like in my seat just going crazy and, and with anxiety waiting to go pick up this game that we're here now talking about it and like I said only shows our age and all that bull crap but really just crazy to think that this game is already 10 years old but I think this game holds up really well definitely and uh, yeah I think in terms of Grand Theft Auto and like where they're going from well, with San Andreas being the last of like the cartoony, yeah, and that's like a really vague like, term, but like the polygonal um, love, yeah. we're serious, more now. like fantasy esque reality, like dude, yeah, you know, like it has some weird weapons and different things like that. Oh, I mean, the new fucking Grand Theft Auto has some weird shit too. But, yeah, you know, it had more off the wall kind of shit as to where now it's more realistic, like point on life. Grand Theft Auto 4 was a real, really surreal experience, just in the terms of like, the story that it's, that it put forth in front of you, and just its own look into like America, and how it is like for an immigrant coming to this country, where well, that's the craziest part, and like, to think about it for me, like going back and replaying this game is like, it, it was just as relevant with the whole, like, immigrant issue, like, ten years ago when it came out as it is now. And it's Definitely. and it's a really cool look just kind of into how, like, what someone must right, one, think or feel like. One instance of what it could exactly. be, you know? Because I'd never, never know what that would feel like. Exactly. Because I've never gone to live in a different country. Only our ancestors can truly exactly. know that. But, and only a fucking amazing game by Rockstar fucking studios can make someone think philosophically like that. So, pretty much what we're saying is, GTA 4 is a great game. Check it out if you haven't. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody yeah, knows about it. Exactly. It's like everybody knows about that game. It's probably like 10 bucks. <laughs> everybody knows about that. Exactly. Game. You'll probably get a used copy of GameStop for like $17. No, probably not. Like, like $7. Seven dollars. Overall, great game. I had fun explaining it. Maybe stay tuned sometime in the future we can actually review the game, talk about some finer details, yeah. you know, discuss the story more in detail and cool stuff that happened, but other than that, I've had fun discussing this game. Oh yeah. Just, Good we just back on the memories. Alright, just rambling off ideas. And yeah, this isn't the only 10th anniversary happening this year, so you can look out for another one of these kind of videos coming soon. Yeah, I can think of a couple. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let us know your memories down in the comments section, the, the metaphysical space that exists below us, not only now, but in the future when you're watching this. And let us know your own thoughts about Grand Theft Auto 4. It's an amazing game, and we thank you for <laughs> spending your time with us and hearing out our memories exactly. and nostalgia all life. And hopefully we triggered some of yours in your head. Right. Hopefully we got you guys thinking about it, too. So, yeah, thank you, Eric, for joining me today, as always. Always a pleasure. It's been fun. Appreciate it. We'll catch you guys later. Peace out, Connor. Peace out. Fuck you, Lloyds.